Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys, let's turn the box around, let's turn the box around. Anyways, I have for you guys a huge skincare and makeup haul. I don't even know where to put this box because I feel like it's going to be in the frame no matter what. So we're, some of this is Ulta, some of this is Sephora. It's pretty obvious what will be from Sephora. So yeah, I'm just going to... Just gonna start on top and this is all the makeup and stuff that i've bought in the month of april and then i am on a no buy now um the last time i bought something was a couple of weeks ago so i'm on a no buy now until i link up with raquel in may on fort <gasps> in a couple of weeks in about two to three weeks about two weeks oh my gosh i'm so excited so in about two weeks i'll link up with my girl raquel and then we are linking up in abilene because it's halfway, it's a halfway point between both of us. And so we decided to meet up in Abilene instead of her driving all the way here or me driving all the way there. And so, yeah, we are going to meet up. We are going to stay in a hotel. We're going to be relaxing by the pool. We've already agreed that we're probably not going to leave the hotel room a lot other than to like get food and maybe do a little bit of shopping. But I bet we do all of the shopping in one day and then probably spend like all day Saturday in the hotel room. Who knows? Or at the hotel. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So let me get this off the top because I'm scared it's gonna fall and break. So the first thing that I did, or the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. This is their Forever Limitless palette in Allure. Um, one of their Forever Limitless palettes. And this is just what it looks like. And when I seen this, I was, so Brian had, so anyways, let me tell you the story why I picked this up. So Brian was like, I'm taking you to Ulta. You can pick out two eyeshadow palettes, one high-end, one drugstore, and I want you to compare them. And I was like, okay, 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 I can do that. He was like, I want you, he's, he's like, I really want to see your channel prosper, so I really want to see your channel grow, so this is what I'm doing for you, even though I got way more makeup than just the two eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> but yeah, so that is what we actually did. And I picked up this palette because you guys, I don't know if it's the stimmies, I don't know if it's the income tax, but my Sephora and my Ulta were sold out of like just about every single high-end eyeshadow palette. And so when I saw this one, I was like, you know what? There's a lot of high-end eyeshadow palettes that have these similar colors that I would be able to compare them to. But I did pick up this one and I picked it up because it has your creams. It has your mattes, lots of mattes, really pretty shimmers. And I actually don't have a lot of palettes that are really mauve toned like this and brown tone and more cool tone. So I was like, yeah, that, like that's perfect. And then I know it's going to be easy for me. Cause we went to Ulta first. I was like, and I seen that they had no high end eyeshadow palettes. I was like, I know it'll be easy for me to go to Sephora and find a high end eyeshadow palette that matches this. And so, yeah, I did go ahead and pick this up. This one was 25 bucks, 15 or 25 bucks for all of these eyeshadows. You get, um, um, I don't know. I got to count you guys. 27 eyeshadows in here, right? <laughs> Yeah, 27. Your girl, girl is slow at math. That's why when we homeschool, Brian gonna be doing the math. But anyways, yeah. And then I really like Brian. <laughs> Brian was so excited about this. He was like, oh my gosh, that is so many eyeshadows. And you get a big old mirror. And I was like, you show right, boo. You show right, big old mirror. Hey, hey, hey. It's so weird to see yourself in a mirror and a mirror and a mirror. Does that make sense? So yeah, I did pick up this one. And then whenever we went to Sephora, I knew it. I was like, I knew I was going to be able to find it. And so this one retails for 65 bucks. And so that was the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette. And this, again, has a mirror, but not as big. But I was like, you know what? That's perfect for the eyeshadow palette that I bought. Because they're so stinking similar. So stinking similar. And so... Yeah, you guys, that's, I did, that's why I picked, ended up picking up this one. And again, this was like the only eyeshadow palette left in Sephora. And they have like two of these. And so I was like, well, let me grab this one. And then the casing of the first one I grabbed was dirty. And I was like, somebody probably touched this. So I went and grabbed the other, this one. But, um, 
Yeah, so that's why I did end up picking up this one. And plus, whenever this had originally came out, I wanted this palette. I'm telling you guys, whenever I buy high-end makeup, I'm not, I'm never like, ooh, let me buy what's new and hot and what just came out. I'm always like, what have I been wanting since it came out, even if it's years old? And that's how I purchased my high-end makeup because it better be worth it. <laughs> and this was definitely worth it. I haven't played with it much. Um... And since it is an older palette, I don't know. Do you guys still want this palette? Do you guys have this palette? What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, so now we can kind of get into the other stuff. So again, I told you guys, I don't care how old something is. I will want and want and want that product until I have the money to buy it. And when I have the money to buy high-end makeup, y'all guys know what it is by the sound? What is it? It is the Rare Beauty Foundation these products that I'm about to talk about right now are not in packaging because I have been using them since I bought them. I got these ones earlier in April. So I've been using these all of April. These are actually going to be in my April favorites. But I did go ahead and pick up the Rare Beauty Foundation as well as the concealer. And oh my gosh. So I got the shade 250W. I thought this was going to be too dark. Okay, so in the store. Okay, so let me say this. In the store, this looked light like my shade light like my skin tone light in the store under those lights this looked my shade and then i got home and i was like oh that's dork but then i used it well actually i reached out to leela because me and her are foundation twinsies both when we're tanned and when we're not and i was like oh well actually i think she gets a little bit lighter than me because i don't lose too much of my tan because i'm also half black so there's that but <laughs> we're foundation twinsies for the most part and I was like, hey, um, just curious, do you have the Rare Beauty Foundation? And if so, what shade did you get? Because I bought this shade and eh, I feel like it's going to be too dark. But she's like, no, girl, I got the same shade. It'll be your shade. It'll be perfect for you whenever you're tan. And I was like, okay, okay, great. So yeah, I got shade 250W and then I got 250W in the concealer because they're actually made to go together. And I'm not that big on the super bright under eye anymore. I truly just wanted to conceal and add like a smidge of brightness. But for the most part, I rely on my setting powder to brighten me under there. And I really, really love this. Like this, oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. Like, this is so pretty. Even if I'm doing, like, I love it because it's natural enough to where you can do an everyday makeup look. And, like, I don't have to pop on lashes. I could do something light with my brows like I did today. And I can still have on a foundation. But it looks so natural and pretty on the skin. You can still see my freckles. Just, ooh, 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 ooh love this pick it up if you have and i feel like these products are pretty cheap for high end because i believe the foundation is only like 29 or something like that and the concealer is 19 and me personally i feel like that's pretty affordable for sephora for foundation and concealer personally because usually high end foundations range in the 40s am i not like 39 40 am i well it's like 38 to 40 and above i don't know let me know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think this is pretty cheap for high end? I do. Okay, so the next thing that I did pick up was actually this Miracle Flower Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Okay, so I got this one because I believe the other one was mattifying. And y'all know your girl leans more dry. My skin is more normal right now. But I do lean more dry for the most part. And so that is just what this looks like. And then you see the powder in here, it actually has like a pink tint to it. But once you apply it to the face, it kind of turns white. I would be light handed with this though, if you're lighter than me, because it does, it did add like a, like a tiny cool undertone to my skin. Just a tiny bit though, not too much. Oh, obviously I ordered this from Ulta because it's flower beauty, yeah, you know. Okay, so the next thing that I got was this um, this Kaja um, Creamy Lip and Cheek Duo. This is the Bento, the cute, the cutie Bento Duo. And I just thought that this was so cute. For one, I've been wanting to try Kaja. I just like saying Kaja. Or is it Kaja? Ka Do only Spanish people pronounce the J-ha? Because like, you know, like if you're texting someone who's like Mexican, Mexican, they'd be like ja, 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 ja. But really in their head, it's ha, 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 ha. Is that how this J is pronounced or is it Kaja? Don't know. So this one is in Juicy Watermelon. And so it has this pretty neutral tone right here, which is what I have on today. But then you also get this pretty pop of color if you want to be a little bit more. Oh, 
Uh, are they even done? Okay, there we go. That's a better swatch. And, but you also get that really pretty color too, if that's what you want to do. So yeah, I really, really like this. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. I just like tiny makeup. Okay, and then also from Sephora, I did go ahead and pick up another Rare Beauty blush. And I did this because <laughs> I keep seeing everybody buy the shade Joy. And I'm like, what's the hype about Joy? And then I pulled it out the tube earlier. So I was going to use it today, but I was like, yeah, I don't feel like that really matches the eye look. And so, again, you guys, you guys need the slightest bit of this. But I, you guys know I love the one in the shade Love. So I chose, oh, look at me choosing Fruits of the Spirit for my blush shades. Love, Joy. Does she have a Peace and Kindness one and Long Suffering? And look, how flippin' pretty is that? And I was like, yes, yes, that is definitely a summer shade. Those are pretty similar, though, aren't they? So I was like, yes, definitely my kind of shade. Gonna use that, gonna love it. What, what? Okay, so, sorry, I'd be too hyper. The next thing is from Ulta. And these are the Lash, the Kiss Lash Couture Luxe Sten Lux Stensions. Luxe Stensions collection. And these ones are in the style Royal, ooh, Royal Silk. These are the ones that I have on today. Super pretty, and whenever you apply these just right, they truly do look like whenever you're looking down, they truly do look like lash extensions, and the band is easy to work with. I do have to trim mine just a little bit, but not a lot to get it to fit my eyes perfectly because while my eyes are big as in wide, they're not that big or like, they're big this way, but they're not big this way. They're kind of short, so yeah. There's that, but I did go ahead and pick up three pairs of these. Let me go ahead and just grab out the other two. So I picked up Royal Silk, and then I got the Classic. I really, really like these. I got lots of compliments on these whenever I wore them. And then I'm waiting to wear these on a more, waiting to wear these whenever I do a more dramatic look, or maybe our next date night. And these are in the style Cashmere. I feel like I feel I feel like I've heard Juicy Jazz talk about the Cashmere ones. Or it was the Royal Silk ones. But I know she was talking about this line and that's why I picked them up anyways. But I did go ahead and pick up three pairs of these. And I bought all of this stuff on sale. A lot of it was during the Savoir VIB sale. And then Ulta had their spring sale going on. So that's when I bought a lot of this as well. Okay, so we got that. And then from, I believe I got this from Sephora. From Sephora, they have this Big Ego Brows. Um, this is called their Sketch and Set Brow Pencil. I got mine in the shade Medium Brown, which is actually perfect for my summertime hair because I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you guys my hair naturally turns into like a red brown in the summer. And then like in the winter, it's more of a cool, uh, cool tone brown. So it's more warm in the summer, more cool tone, dark brown. But it has your pencil on one end and then it has your brow gel on the other end. I use this today and let me tell you guys, this is really good. The The formula of the pencil is good and the brow gel like just flicks your hair into place so nicely and it and it and you can feel where they're held into place, kind of like a gel, but it's not hard. Does that make sense? Yeah, I really, really like that. Okay, the next thing I got was from Ulta and this is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This is so freaking good. I already used it today, y'all. And this just looks like this. This is the packaging. I thought the packaging was unique because I don't think I've ever seen a tube like this. Like, you could try to, like, uh, I would say the Lights, Camera, um, Lashes one from Tarte, but even on the inside, it's round. And then that is just what the wand looks like. Did you guys ever use the Stilettos Mascara from Maybelline? That's what this smells like. So this, when I smell this, like I'm getting taken all the way back to high school days. Y'all, it's been, it's been 10 years since I graduated high school. Well, in May, it'll be. Should I show up to my high school reunion and be like, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm childish, but yeah, I'm so petty. <laughs> okay, this next one I did also get from Sephora and I picked up the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette, first of all. This blue, I'm obsessed with this blue right now, this like cobalt pretty blue. And then this is just what the packaging looks like. Now I got this because for one, Sephora had it on sale for 22 bucks. For two, I had 10% off because of the Sephora VIB sale. So the girl picked it up and I just thought how pretty this was. And then I was like rustic, 
Makes me think of, you know, I'm a Texas girl. Glam, Allie is glam like 5% of the time. This is a perfect palette for her. So rustic glam. And then also this purple is beautiful. This blue, my Lanta. Can't wait to play with that blue. And like I did use this on the eyes today, but if you wanna know what I think about it, watch that video, which will be up soon or if it's not up already, but yeah, I really, really love this palette. And like, I got it also, this was another palette that she had came out with where I was like, oh man, I really, really want, I really, really want that palette. Cause I would look at her latte too. And I was like, mm, I like it, but I don't really like pastel colored eyeshadows, if that makes sense. And then whenever I looked at her um, Celestial Storm or something like that, Celestial Thunder, something, it was, it's just a really dark palette and I don't like super dark palettes. And so I was like, well, the only one that left was Rustic Glam and I'm happy with my Dominique Cosmetics collection now of her two palettes that I have and yeah. Okay, so back to Ulta. Do you guys remember when I hauled this foundation and I had bought the shade 3.0 and it was really, really orange and dark on me? Well, this time I bought the shade 2.1. This is really, really dark on me. And I'm thinking, and I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, if you don't have the shade anywhere on the bottle, how do the, how does the person who's putting this into the box know that that bottle is actually 2.1? Because I feel like 2.1 is the exact shade as 3.0 and I still have 3.0 somewhere. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna test them by each other, but I feel like they're the same shade. I gotta return this. I really feel like the formula of this is really similar to the Rare Beauty one. So I really wanna return this and just not even try anymore. But at the same time, I'm like, ooh, I really wanna compare the two. So, but yeah, I did go ahead and pick this up and I keep picking it up because it's only $6.90. And I wanna find a really, really good foundation for you guys. Okay, so this one's actually a Target buy. And I did go ahead and restock on the Mighty Patch and I got the original. I do not like the invisible ones. I love the original ones. I feel like the original ones like really get the job done and I wear them at night anyways, not during the day because I just be doing too much to be trying to wear these during the day. So it don't matter. Um, but I really, really did like these. These are so good and so obviously they're good. I picked them up. If you haven't tried them, try them, especially if you're one that gets like a few hormonal breakouts here and there. These are really, really good for breakouts. Okay, so the next thing I got was this Sephora Jelly Melt, and this is actually a lip tint. And I remember my older sister is always looking for new lip tints, and so I thought that I would try this one out because this was really affordable. Okay, so that's a really pretty color. Doesn't go with this eye look at all whatsoever, but that is a really pretty color if I do like something simple on the eyes or even just brown. It smells so good. It don't taste that good though. Don't lick your lips when you have this on. So this is a lip tint. So I thought that I would get it and test it out. They have so many more colors and a few more that I was gonna get. But by the time I bit the bullet to press uh, check out on my cart, they were sold out. Because every time I create a cart on Sephora, it takes me like a week, a week to be like, Okay, I'll buy it. Every time. Every time. Even when it was my birthday and I made all that money specifically for me to press check out on my Sephora cart, it took me forever. Okay, so this I got from my Boxy pop-up. Um, not Boxy. Ipsy Charm pop-up. Is Does Ipsy, does Ipsy Charm, what? Does Ipsy call it pop-up or what? They have like their flash sales, which is kind of like a pop-up, but this is from Complex Culture and I got a rose quartz roller. Oh my God, and this feels, ooh, probably shouldn't be doing this with makeup on, huh? Somebody right now is cringing that I'm doing this with my makeup on. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. And I had bought this for Brian's birthday night because I was gonna do like a spa experience on him. But I was like, ooh, it might not be here because sometimes Ipsy can take a little long with the shipping when you shop from their pop-up. So I went on Amazon and I had bought this set of the jade roller, which is also really good. But let me warn you about this. So this all came broken. And when you see this up close, 
You can see that your girl just glued it back together. You see where I set it on plastic to dry like an idiota and it came off, the plastic did. So anyways, don't be like me, don't order. I will link this down below, the specific one that I got, but after I had already bought it, and it said shipping. I went and looked at the review. I should have looked at the reviews first. So I will link one that's similar down below, but not this one. And a lot of the reviews said it came broken, arrived broken. And I was like, surely that won't happen to me. But nope, it came broken. And I just super glued everything back together because we're not doing the whole return and waiting thing. I'm just going to glue it and fix it myself. So there is one thing that I'm super mad at myself about. I did a restock on my favorite brow pencil ever which is the Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Blackest Black or Blackest Brown. I believe it's Blackest Brown. Yeah, Blackest Brown from um, LA Girl. And they were buy two, get one free. So why I didn't buy three, I don't, I really do not know. I just don't know why I didn't buy three when they were buy two, get one free. But I only bought two. Yeah, that was dumb. But that was just that way I don't ever run out of this and while they were on sale. Even though they're already super cheap, they're like $5.99, but if you can get a cheaper, why not? And then I did buy three more um, LA Girl Precision Lip Liners. And I bought the shade Pinky because remember that day that I realized I had nothing that was like purpley undertone? So I bought that. And then I bought the shade Sugar and Spice just because I'm a sucker for this nude brown color. And then I also realized I didn't have anything that was truly nude. So I bought this shade Nude. And that's just what those look like right there. Yeah, super duper. I love a good LA Girl lip liner. These are so good. They truly are like the only lip liners that I buy, which is insane, but yeah. We are down to the last three items, folks. That was a lot. So, you guys remember how I was like, ooh, I love the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Ooh, I might actually buy the full-size one. That is how much I love this primer. I spent $42 on a stupid primer. Who told me to buy the mini and try it out? Anyways, if you have not already, try this primer out because it made me buy a $42 primer. Love it. I actually see what all the hype is about this thing. I love that primer. I bought it, $42. I can't believe I pulled the trigger on that. And I didn't do no afterpay, Klarna, nothing on that. I just swipe. No military discount. Swipe. No sale. Swipe. No coupons. Swipe that card on that $42 prime. It's all Brian's fault. I blame Brian too. It's not all on you. I got the NYX This Is Milk. Or, yeah, the, ooh, look, the NYX This Is Milky Lip Gloss. And I chose the shade Milk and Honey. And I mean, obviously, we all know Allie loves a clear gloss. And if she can't get clear, she'll settle for a nude. So, yeah, that is just what that looks like. And the formula on this one is great. Like, I would actually probably. I don't know yet. I'm going to have to try it. I don't know if I'll take these over their butter glosses yet. I don't know if I would pay the extra price for these over their butter glosses. So before I make that statement, let me get back to you because I have their butter, some of their butter glosses too. Okay. The next thing I actually did pick up, and I don't know why this still says Kat Von D. Maybe because they haven't finished selling these yet. But I've got this from, from Sephora, and this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And I got the shade Bow and Arrow. You guys, this is, since I have gotten into makeup back in 2016, I have wanted this lipstick shade. And your girl finally got it. I'm telling you, whenever I want something, whenever I buy high-end makeup, it's always something that I have wanted forever. Always. I'll buy what's new at the drugstore. But when it comes to high-end makeup, I'm usually satisfying a want that I've had forever. So the next thing I picked up was the Ordinary Full Coverage Concealer. Now this one I got in the shade 2.0. This is actually a pretty good shade for me. I feel like it kind of has a gray undertone to it. But other than that, it's really, really good. And this is their new concealer that they just came out with. 
this is what I have under my eyes right now. And you guys, this is so flipping good. If you haven't, or if you haven't heard of it, if you haven't tried it, like I said, everything will be linked down below. Try, try, try this out. Try this. Try that out. Try that concealer. But yeah, you guys, that is it for this haul. Very, very long haul. Lots of products. Um, may or may not do swatches. You'll know if I did swatches. If I did swatches, there will be inserts over the product that I'm talking about. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. If you haven't already, you guys, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And always remember, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.